Cinnamon Rice Cream Bar. Who is so pumped that it's officially summer? Woo! I'm super happy and I'm ready to make a summer celebration every Thursday. Yeah! That was a little too much excitement. So today we are going to make the Raspberry Shandy Cocktail. So I've got my shaker filled with ice, I've got my triple sec, I've got my lemon juice, my raspberries, I've got about five in there, some simple syrup, and a beer. And this is a pretty easy cocktail to make. Lots of people have raspberries, so that's really easy. Simple syrup you can actually make really easily. I just have this bottle because I thought it was really pretty. And of course, lemons and orange liqueur are really common ingredients for cocktails, so that's pretty easy. Plus beer, it's summer. If you don't have beer, I don't know who you are. Then again, I'm from Wisconsin and all we do is beer. That's it. There's nothing else here, except for cheese. Beer and cheese, and German looking people. So I've got my cocktail shaker filled with ice, and I'm gonna pour in one ounce of orange liqueur. I'm using triple sec. I'm gonna pour in three squeezes of lemon juice. I don't even want to hazard a guess at what this is ounce wise. I, I don't know the recipe said three squeezes. So I just did three squeezes that felt pretty okay to me. And then I'm gonna add some raspberries, delicious fresh raspberries. And now I'm gonna pour three-fourths of an ounce of simple syrup. Do you guys say syrup or syrup? I think I say syrup. And that's all we're adding to the shaker. I'm just gonna close it up and shake it up. Oh, raspberry droppings. So I've got a mason jar because that feels like summer fun to me. And I'm gonna <laughs> pour. Now it's time to open the beer. Ah! I keep forgetting my arm is injured. All right, so this is our terrifying strawberry, I mean raspberry, some kind of berry. You know what, I'm just gonna pour the beer. Magical magic, magical magic. Oh, it's so magical. So this is what it looks like. Obviously this glass is blue, so this color is a little tinted, right? But it looks like beer, it's the color of beer. There's some like strawberry, I keep saying strawberry. There's like some raspberry babies in there. It's um, kind of super gross looking actually. But if you completely ignore that, it looks really like beer. Really exactly like beer. I don't know, I thought this would be prettier and I know it's in a blue glass and it's a brown liquid so that's just making it look like mud. I don't know, I just the picture, it looked really pretty and this is not that pretty in color. I eat with my eyes so I'm, I'm disappointed already. So let's taste it. I think it's gonna be really sweet. That's my fear. Okay, I'm gonna start by saying I am not a fan of really sweet drinks and this has simple syrup in it which is like the sweetest possible thing you could ever do and it also has raspberries which are sweet and this all together I think is a little too sweet for me that being said this is kind of like beer sangria that's what it tastes like it tastes like beer sangria this would be amazing absolutely amazing if I was outside and it was 100 degrees and on a beach. This I could drink like 10 of these because that would be really good. And also even though it doesn't look very appetizing, especially down here where they're kind of just like floating around like horrible alien fetuses, the little bits of raspberry that you get in your mouth are actually nice little pops of fruity delightfulness. So that's actually quite nice feeling. And the lemon, I think you can do more than three squeezes, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and say you could probably do like an ounce of lemon juice just to cut some of this super sweet sweetness. Of course, you could also use a drier beer, a less sweet beer than I used. Other point, you could just not use that much simple syrup. That was a lot of simple syrup. Simple syrup, 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 syrup. Yeah, it's actually, it's really tasty. It's a little bit overly sweet for me personally. You're supposed to pour this into like a pint glass, but I wanted to use the mason jar because mason jars just seem like summer fun and I'm all about summer fun. I don't know what you're all about, but I'm all about summer fun. Mm. Beer sangria. That's what this is. That's totally what this is. I just started playing Final Fantasy, right? I've never been into that game series. I've never played any of the games. I'm on the first one, which is also maybe the fourth one. I don't understand how that 
worked, but sure. So I'm doing that. It's very slow. It's so very slow. <sighs> it's, it's very, very slow. Raspberries are good. Man, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I have just realized that this is a very large drink. It's over a cup. It's like two cups, two cups. I don't know why that's fascinating. It is a big drink though, right? But it's not very alcoholic depending on what kind of beer you use. Simple syrup does not have alcohol in it. Obviously, raspberries and fresh squeezed lemon juice do not have alcohol in them. Uh, my triple sec is obviously alcoholic, but there's only one ounce, and this beer that I am drinking is only 4.5% alcohol. This is not a very strong drink, which is why you could drink a ton of them. So I'm getting to the bottom of this. Very not excited to try and avoid drinking these raspberry bits. They've like lost their color as they've sat in here. It's kind of disturbing. Mmm. Yummy yummy. Very seedy. It's getting very raspberry seedy. So I think I'm not gonna actually attempt to drink the rest of this. Just, just because of those terrifying looking raspberry bits. So I guess that's it for that drink. I thought it was pretty good. Like I said, it was like beer sangria. So if that's something that sounds like you'd be interested in, you should totally try it. A little too sweet for me. Otherwise, really tasty. But for now, my book is closed. I got nothing more to teach you and nothing more to learn. And I will talk to my ice maker, apparently. Hello, ice maker. How are you? Amazing. And I will talk to all of you at least by next Thursday. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!